hello this is wendy welcome to my channel wailani creations in this video we will learn how to make these bracelets using memory wire and super dual beads this bracelet is actually very easy to make once you get the hang of it and the style can be so different depending on the bead mix you use Here are the materials we need. In this tutorial, I am using the Red Gingham from TheBeatMix.com. I will include a link in the description. I am using Silver Memory Wire from Beautalon, size large. And I am using Super Dual Beads from John Bead. These beads have two holes. Uh, the beads is what I will be using to combine the wires together to form a three-tier bracelet. If you like the purple one, I am using the Malvi Bead Mix from TheBeatMix.com and also the super dual beads from John Beads, the blue and pink color one. It's best to use a memory wire cutter if you have one, but I don't, so I'm just using a regular wire cutter. We'll also need a round nose plier, and we will also want to use this tool to smooth out the ends of the wire so that it doesn't scratch or poke us. We will start by cutting the memory wire. I will cut around here, leaving a little bit more than one fourth inch on both sides to form the loop. Cut three of them and then form a loop on one end for all three. Since we are working with memory wire, these wires are a lot tougher and harder than the wires we normally work with. So you do have to put in some strength and force to form that loop. As you can see here, even after all that work, I've only formed half a loop so we have to keep going. For the first circle of the bracelet, we'll start by adding 20 seed beads. These are size 11 seed beads. Once we have added 20 seed beads, we will add one white super dual bead. And you want to keep repeating these steps by adding 20 seed bead and one white super dual bead until you form the full circle. For your reference, there are six sections of seed beads and five white super dual beads. My wire was a little bit short, so I only added 17 seed beads at the end before adding the loop. For the second bracelet tier, we will add eight seed beads, one white super dual bead, and then 10 seed beads. If you recall, we added 20 seed beads to the first bracelet tier. So by combining 8 seed beads, 1 super dual bead, and 10 seed beads here, it's about the same width as the 20 seed beads we added earlier. Okay, so this is the first bracelet we made with 20 seed beads on this side. We are going to put the second bracelet through the super dual bead here, combining the two bracelets together. Once you have combined the bracelets together, you want to put it side by side like this and compare the length of both bracelets for this first section to make sure they are the same. Now we will repeat this step by adding 8 seed beads, 1 super dual bead, and then 10 seed beads. Next, we will put this wire through the second super dual bead on the first bracelet. We will start by pulling the wire back until the end gets close to the second super dual bead. It can get tricky here and the seed beads might fall, so I like to use a chain nose plier to hold on to the wire while I try to put it through the second super dual bead. Next, we'll repeat the steps of adding 8 seed bead, 1 super dual bead, 10 seed bead, and then putting the wire through the next super dual bead on the first bracelet until we get all the way to the end. Okay, I have just finished putting the second wire through the last super dual bead on the first bracelet. There's some wire left here, as you can see. For the last section of wire, I added 8 seed beads, 1 super dual bead, and 7 seed beads. Because the last section of my first bracelet has 17 seed beads. So I am adding about the same amount of beads on the second bracelet so that it's the same length. Now we will form a loop with the rest of the wire and finish off the second bracelet. As a reminder, we added 8 seed beads for the second bracelet, so we are going to do the same with the third bracelet. We're going to add 8 seed beads and then put the wire through the first super dual bead on the second bracelet. Now combining the third bracelet with the second bracelet. The rest of these are going to be 20 seed bead sections, so we will add 20 seed beads and put the wire through the super dual bead and then add 20 seed beads and then put the wire through the next super dual bead and then add 20 seed beads and so forth. Okay, so I have added 20 seed beads, so I'm going to put the wire through the next super dual bead. I start by pulling the wire back so that the end of this wire will get close to the 
next super dual bead. I'm using the chain nose ply to hold onto the wire so seat beads don't fall off. And I put the wire through this super dual bead. Every time after putting the wire through a super dual bead, you want to take a look at the bracelet and make sure that all three bracelets are aligned nicely. If there is any bulging out or whatnot, you might want to remove a seat bead. For example, for the purple bracelet, I only added 19 seat beads and not 20 because the purple seat beads are slightly bigger. I added another 20 seat beads, so now I'm going to put the wire through the next super dual bead on the second bracelet. Next, I will examine the bracelet again, making sure that all three tiers are aligned nicely. And then we repeat until we get to the end. So here I am at the end, leaving a little bit of space for me to create the loop. Once we create the loop, we'll be done with the bracelet. I hope it wasn't too hard to follow the instructions. It is a little bit hard to see what I'm doing on the screen. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!